It's been 30 years since Joshua Morrow came on Young and the Restless. But is he here forever, or is planning on switching the industry? Plus, his son, Crew J. Morrow, also made his debut on Bold and Beautiful. So let's see if he has what it takes to make it in the soap industry. Michelle Stafford also got a serious eye roll from the biggest critic of her life. So, without any further ado, let's jump right into it and find out. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Joshua Morrow, the man behind Nick Newman on The Young and the Restless, has never been shy about how much he loves playing the iconic role. But his future in Genoa City wasn't always set in stone. When he first stepped into the shoes of Victor and Nikki's son back in 1994, he was quickly smitten, but not just with the role itself. I fell in love with the schedule, Morrow revealed in an interview with Soaps.com. The actor realized early on that he wanted a steady job, one that let him be there for dinner with his family every night, instead of constantly being on location. He really wanted to be a present dad, and why, and her checked all the boxes for him. We all know Moro is a big family guy, and that always comes first, but so does his love and passion for acting. Thankfully, he got to balance both, and be the eBay in both. Nevertheless, as an actor, soap is never enough, one would think. Everyone dreams big and they start from soap to make it big in primetime shows, or get the A or B listers of Hollywood. I mean, Moro must have felt it too, but turns out, Moro was different from the start. A lot of people might have assumed Moro would use his soap stardom as a springboard to primetime glory or a big Hollywood blockbuster. But Moro had a different perspective when it came to acting as a job. There is something about getting a daytime show, staying a long time and having that work-life balance that everyone talks about achieving but doesn't always achieve, he said. And for Moro, that balance is priceless. As a young actor, Moro quickly learned that job security was a rare gem in the industry. It became pretty obvious to me that job security in Hollywood is difficult to attain," he admitted. But on The Young and the Restless, Morrow found a place where he didn't have to constantly worry about whether the show would get picked up for another season. And let's face it, playing Nick Newman? That's a role with staying power. I knew there was always going to be a Nick Newman, he said. Whether it was me playing him or not was a decision that I and the show had to make with each other. Thankfully for fans, Morrow has consistently knocked it out of the park, year after year, proving he's the perfect Nick Newman. No doubt, we wouldn't want anybody else. And while he might not have the megawatt fame of Tom Cruise or Ryan Reynolds, Morrow's just fine with that. For him, the incredible job security he's enjoyed on Young and Restless, and the balance it has with his personal life is a reward in itself. So, while Moro might have had some doubts early on about his future in Genoa City, it's safe to say he's found his place, and he's not going anywhere anytime soon. And now, it seems the Moro name is about to become even bigger. The Moro legacy doesn't end with Joshua. His son, Crew, is now stepping into the soap opera spotlight himself. Just last week, the middle of Moro's three boys made his daytime debut as William, the son of Bill Spencer and Katie Logan on The Bold and the Beautiful. And both of Crew's on-screen parents are portrayed by none other than Joshua's former Y and her co-stars. Don Diamant, who plays Bill, used to be Brad Carlton, one of Nick's romantic rivals, and Heather Tom, who plays Katie, was Morrow's on-screen sister, Victoria. So, you already know what would be comfortable from the very first day on set. As Crew steps into his father's footsteps, it's clear the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. The young Moro is already being welcomed with open arms, and it'll be exciting to see where his soap journey takes him. One thing's for sure, with a dad like Joshua Moro showing him the ropes, Cruz off to a promising start. And he didn't disappoint at all. Cruz's debut has everyone talking, and it is so much better than we expected. The expectations were met, and the fans are definitely very pleased with the casting. Stepping into the soap world where his dad is already a big name must have felt like a ton of pressure. You know, you're always going to be compared with your dad. And crew had had a whole audience watching, hoping they'd see a new Joshua Morrow in the making. Now, while he's definitely off with a good start, it's just been a couple of days. So it's too soon to say whether Crew's got the same range as his dad. But one thing's for sure, he's got the Morrow charm in spades. The kid handled his first scenes like a pro, especially when dealing with the awkwardness of Will's homecoming, or should we say him walking in on Bill and Poppy in the bedroom. Without making Will seem like a total brat, Crew managed to show the character's resentment towards Bill's new family as clear as day. 
Major props to the scriptwriter for having William direct his frustration at his dad, instead of taking it out on Poppy and Luna. And let's be real, who didn't cringe a little when Bill suggested William hug Luna? Sister or not, the girl was a total stranger to him. It was an uncomfortable moment for the boy, but it was also the moment where we all went, yep, this kid's got it. Crew's reaction, which was a mix of are you kidding me, dad, and no offense, random lady, was spot on. He delivered it with just the right amount of teenage awkwardness and frustration, making the scene feel both real and relatable. Crew's debut wasn't just about nailing one scene, though. He's set to be thrown into some even more explosive storylines, and we can't wait to see how he handles them. And if this is just the beginning, we can't wait to see where his journey on the bold and the beautiful takes him next. One thing's for sure though, the Moro family's soap opera legacy is in good hands. In other news, we all know Phyllis on the young and the restless is no stranger to judgment. She's pulled off enough stunts over the years to earn every bit of side eye thrown her way in Genoa City. Honestly, with all the chaos she's caused, it's a wonder her kids still talk to her. But let's hope the drama stays on screen and doesn't spill over into real life, right? Well, it turns out Michelle Stafford, who plays Phyllis, might have a little taste of what her character goes through. Well, at least when it comes to being judged by her own kids. Stafford recently shared a feel-good video on Instagram from the beach, walking down the boardwalk and feeling fabulous. But, of course, her kids were quick to bring her back down to earth. In the video, Stafford's enjoying her moment, until you hear, you're so corny. You're so corny. And if you look closely, there's an epic eye roll from her daughter Natalia, that's just too perfect. Even General Hospital's Finola Hughes couldn't resist commenting on it. But it wasn't just Natalia dishing out the sass. When a follower joked that Natalia was a true daughter for teasing her mom, Stafford revealed it was actually her son Jameson who called her corny. Yup, they were double-teaming her. Siblings gotta stick together, right? Why tease mom one at a time when you can join forces? But let's be real, Stafford was really feeling herself with the song of the summer. If we were her, we'd be strutting our stuff too, maybe just away from the kids next time. So, here's to Stafford for embracing her fabulous self, even if her kids are quick to bring her back down to reality. And honestly? We're here for it. Also don't forget to share your thoughts on the comments down below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.